So I want to spend uh, a few minutes today talking to you about you and your stress response and the concept of polyvagal theory. Also how it relates to me as a chiropractor and how I try to assist people. So the last few videos we were introducing the idea of the autonomic nerve system, how um, central computer our brain has control of that and how that system is the part that not only keeps us alive but it helps us monitor and manage stress. Now within the autonomic nerve system there's the sympathetic and the parasympathetic and the concept of polyvagal theory as developed by uh, Dr. Stephen Porges was talking about one of the cranial nerves, the 10th cranial nerve, which has information traveling from both parts of that system. What it recognizes is that we will be at one of three states. However, it's not clearly three steps. It might be multiple steps upon that ladder. So at any time that we perceive that there is some stress, we may go into a heightened state. We may perceive danger. We might be hypersensitive to what's going on. When we then take that next step into dealing with the stress, there is somewhat of that fright, flight or fight response, which is represented by the, the red. And we are dealing, we're in the throes of the thing. We are supposed to be able to detect when that stress diminishes and then when we respond and go back to orange or indeed back to green where we do our healing and recovery. Now stress comes in the form of people, places, social situations and how we socially respond. So we're really interested in that relationship and what is our resting state at any given time. So the next part of this theory is to talk about where chiropractic plays a role in helping your body regulate this response to stress in polyvagal theory. What step on the ladder behind me are you going to be staying on? Are you going to be stepping up to, stepping down to? Now, we talked in the last video about how adjustments have a reset option. They seem to be able to reset our autonomic nerve system as well as other parts of the nerve system. And what we find with people is that sometimes it's successful in bringing you down a couple of steps from the red to the orange and maybe to the orange to the green zone and that's a really exciting thing so after adjustments people quite often uh, comment to me that they take a deep breath and they feel a little bit of a calm come over them and that's an example of the polyvagal theory and the steps of the polyvagal theory coming back down to a calmer and more relaxed state